Hi, and welcome to this demonstration in which I'm using eight instances of Sonic Pi playing on a variety of machines. I've got a MacBook Pro here, which is going to control everything. I've got an iMac up there running Sonic Pi. I've got um, a Pi 3B on the back of this touchscreen running Sonic Pi. I've got a headless um, Pi 4 there uh, with a VNC screen over there, which is looking at it. I've got a Pi 400 there with that screen running Sonic Pi. I have got another Pi 4 with a small screen there. I've got a Windows PC um, laptop there. And finally, I've got the Pi Top Seed screen, which has been somewhat hacked around and has got a Pi 4 and a Pi Sound board uh, there. And some of the Pis have got these little uh, speakers on them. One, two, three. Um, Another one is using those two speakers. Um, another one is using a speaker way up there. And uh, the Pi, the Macs are using their inbuilt speakers to play. So the idea is that we can synchronize all these machines so that they can play parts together. And in order to explain this, or to, to illustrate this, I've got each machine playing a single part. And they're very, very simple. They're just playing two notes out of um, 24. The first one plays a C and then has lots of rest beats and then plays another C at the end. The second one is quiet for the first beat and then plays a D. And the third one is quiet for the first two beats and then plays an E. So you can see if you follow it down that we're going to play an ascending scale from C3 to C4 and then a descending scale from C4 back to C3. And that's what's going to happen. And we're going to do it in a loop 24 times and that you can see the BOSC, that's the broadcast um, which is going to be formed. It's actually going to send from this um, MacBook Pro down to a Python script, which will receive it. And then that is capable of sending on the broadcast port. Um, and uh, that means that all the machines can receive simultaneously without being individually addressed by their IP. Um, and so they all receive all the information but you'll notice that uh, the first item of data is a number in the range naught up to seven, and each machine is going to respond to only one of those numbers. So it can pick out just the part for itself. So that's a very quick explanation of what's going to happen. Let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. So I'm just going to start this pie running. Here we go. And you can hear the scale. It's a bit like a sort of Mexican wave. If you look at the screens, you can see a, a brief sort of surge of activity of all of the machines at different times as they play, one after the other. And you can obviously hear the ascending and decreasing scale. And notice that it's getting faster and faster as we go on. And if we look down here, we can see the codes the message is being broadcast down the bottom there. It doesn't have any problems with keeping up. Individually, each machine has a latency setting, which I adjust before I started, so that if I play the same note at the same time on the machines, they all sound exactly together. And that's how you can get rid of slightly different speeds in all the machines. Other than that, they're synchronized together by the data arriving. So thank you for watching.